Um, today, I want to talk about tripolar and quadrupolar being. In step six, um, Barden in the mental uh, section of step six, Barden introduces an exercise in which you are uh, sensing your mental body and fitting it into your astral body like a glove in a, a hand in a glove. <clears throat> and then you fit your menta, mental astral body like a hand in a glove of your physical body. So you're consciously a mental awareness inhabiting your astral body, inhabiting your physical body. And the instruction is to start doing different things in this tripolar state of awareness. Start small, progress to longer and longer. Uh, it takes a while to get used to this state of being. Mostly it takes a while to accustom yourself to holding these three perceptions simultaneously. Perception of your mental body, astral body, and physical body. And to then perform different actions as a menta, as a physio mental being, basically. Um, it's something that we do every day constantly. We are physio mental beings. We have a physical body, an astral body, and a mental body. So it's really just training to become consciously aware of these three bodies simultaneously and to act as the three bodies simultaneously. Uh, it just takes practice. It's a little rough at first, but eventually it becomes very easy and it becomes second nature. And this is the type of awareness, the construct that you will need for the exercises of um, the, the mental equilibrium of the elements, which is an advance on the astral equilibrium of the elements. Uh, working uh, with the fluids, um, working with the um, higher senses, the clairaudience, clairvoyance, etc. Uh, all the way up to uh, the exercise of step eight and step nine. Um, then we start to branch into a quadrupolar awareness, where it's not just the mental, astral, and physical body, but it's also the I, the one self, consciously, intentionally integrated into the mental, astral, and physical body. So it, it's the eternal mental body is introduced to this composite awareness. And that's, again, something that we are automatically as, as beings, um, everything that exists, has an eternal mental body, a temporal mental body, an astral body, and a physical body. If it exists, it exists on all these levels simultaneously. So those exercises are, again, just accustoming yourself to uh, consciously and intentionally inhabiting your, in this case, four bodies. <clears throat> so what I want to talk about today <clears throat> are exercises that you can do no matter what your level of ability is, no matter what step you're at, etc. Because, like everything in initiation into hermetics, these are natural human abilities. There's nothing superhuman or other than human in uh, what you learn in initiation into hermetics. Um, it's just a matter in each case, of making it a conscious, intentional use of the abilities that you already naturally have. And some of us are born into this life with these abilities fully developed, so it takes us very little time to reignite them to uh, the level of initiation in hermetics. Um, so, first, 
is the tripart awareness, the three uh, levels of uh, awareness incor incorporated into one composite awareness. So we, we assume our mental body. We are an awareness. We are uh, uh, an individual self that exists throughout all of our incarnations, but in this incarnation, we have a very specific mental body, um, a specific mind um, that we bring to our existence, a specific will. So this is the mental body. And we bring the mental body down into our hand, for, for example. And so it is our mental will that moves our hand that makes it do these things. Now, we also have an astral awareness as an incar incarnate being, um, emotional body, uh, all of our passions, and also all of our character traits. So we take our mental awareness, our will, and it inhabits our character. Our, our emotions, our um, awareness of significance, and it moves our physical hands. So we are a mental body within an astral body within a physical body. So when I move my hand, and it's good to start with something like just simply moving our hand. It is my mental will which makes my hand move, and it is my passions my emotions that create the actual action of moving my hand and that's all happening inside of this physical body these muscles these bones these blood vessels all of this is moved because my mental will acts within my astral body to move my physical hand okay and just work at this awareness as you move your physical hand. It is your mental will working within your astral body that connects with the physical tissues and the nerves in your physical hand to make it move. So it's mental, astral, physical movement. Mental, astral, physical movement then move on to greater movements, mental, astral, physical movement. Mental, astral, physical movement. Mental, astral, physical movement. Mental, astral, physical movement, etc. Then you walk around and you are mental, astral, physical movement. And take that throughout your day and eventually you become very accustomed to this level of self-awareness as you are doing the things throughout the day. And uh, it's not something that you have to constantly be doing, but in a certain magical acts is something you definitely need to be doing. You definitely need to be a mental body within an astral body and acting things on the physical plane. Uh, yes, that's very important. Um, but for higher works of magic, such as evocation and uh, uh, Kabbalistic speech, um, you have to incorporate the I, the eternal mental body, has to be integrated into that mental, astral, physical in order to be able to uh, utter something Kabbalistically or to have the authority, the magical authority for evocation. And certain actions with the, uh, the fluids can only be accomplished with this four-part awareness. Now, we can experience that awareness. Well, we are always experiencing that, that awareness, but we can do it consciously and intentionally. And uh, no matter where you start, you have an experience of that four-part awareness. 
it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper with time and more and more complete with time and practice. That's all it is, is practice. Um, so, I want to take you through an experience of the four-part uh, awareness um, right now. <laughs> so, follow along with me in your mind as I talk you through this. And it's really very simple. You connect with the eye. You connect with the eye. The perfect, peaceful brilliance of the eye. And if you can, if you are able, take into consideration your greater self. This is your eternal mental body, the I, and the greater self, that focusing of the I in the eternal realm that then generates the individual self, the solitary self, the individual I. This is the mental body, the temporal mental body, the uh, your mind, not your brain, your mind your mentation, the, uh, the essence of who you are. It's your ability to connect with the whole world, the whole universe. And it's also that thing that makes you uniquely you, uniquely yourself. So this is your temporal mental body. You're bringing the I down into this mental awareness and you're bringing that down further into your astral body now this is your awareness of significance it's not just the meaning that you're dealing with in the mental body but the significance of that meaning in the astral body it's your emotions all of your passions all of your emotional content and your character, all the, the parts and aspects of your character, especially the most noble aspects of who you are, inhabit these with the eye and your mental body. Bring them all here down into your astral body, your emotions, and the finer aspects of your character. And now, bring them into your physical body. Feel every aspect of your physical body and inhabit them. Inhabit your physical body. Every bit of your physical body is filled with your astral being with your mental body, with your eternal mental body, the, the I and the greater self, and the mental body and the astral body, all exist here, now, in this very present moment of time and space. Be here now fully experience it as the I experiencing the present moment, as your greater self experiencing the present moment in your mental body, your awareness that deals with meaning, and your astral body that deals with significance, and your physical body that deals with physical sensation and movement throughout the physical realm, movement within the present moment. Now, just be with this awareness for a moment. Mm. Just be with it. You are expanded throughout the universe, but focused right here in the present moment the totality of your being. Now gently, 
Let go of that expanded awareness and come back to your normal awareness. <clears throat> so, that state of being, when taken to its extreme, is very difficult to maintain in modern day existence. And day to day existence, that's, I personally find it impossible to maintain and carry on and like walk out into the world and interact with other people. Um, it just doesn't fit in this fake world, as it were. Um, yeah, it, it just doesn't fit. But it is absolutely necessary for Kabbalistic speech. What you, if the I is not involved in Kabbalistic speech, it is not Kabbalistic speech. It's merely reciting sounds at specific tones and visualizing colors, etc. Uh, which is not Kabbalistic speech. Uh, likewise, with evocation, without that authority of the I, the greater self, involved in the operation, there's no evocation. Um, working with the spheres, you have to take your entire self into the spheres in order to be able to really truly converse with the beings that you will meet there. Um, vaulting. Vaulting with the quadrupolar awareness is an entirely um, different animal than uh, vaulting in the tripolar awareness. Um, and when you do it in the quadrupolar awareness, when you cast your vault into the akasha, it actually lands in the akasha and begins that process of materialization. When you try to do a tripolar, you don't quite reach the akasha. You reach only your conception of the akasha, not the true uh, um, state, the place in the universe that is akasha. So, I, you can practice with that, you can experiment with it, you can accustom yourself to uh, this level of integration. Um, that's what it's all about, that's what initiation is all about, is integrating the awareness so that everything you do is a conscious, intentional, magical act. Okay, I hope that was entertaining for you and interesting and that you'll experiment with it. Till next time, bye-bye.